What is going on, my reaction first one, Jay's man here, back with part, um, part three of Vishra Cleaner Detail Santa's Rampage, and today, uh, we did, uh, we did a pretty good job of, the uh, cleaning, well, the clean matter and that, let's just get something, because I found, for some reason, Santa is very clever and just hides bodies under, a six of Ah, shit. Alright, let's go carefully get this up there, and then we can dispose the bodies, Santa's little secret compartment thing. I don't know. Alright, got some ones, we got some blood everywhere. Get, get in there. Alright. I don't understand the things. I, I heard that it's actually like the way you hold it. Like, if you hold it from the bottom, you don't see much. But let me just hold it from up here. Oh, I guess not. I guess it doesn't work then. So I remember like hearing somewhere that in this game and that you have to like hold it in a certain way when you like first grab it in there and then get like a bit of view but I don't know maybe because my, my computer's not that powerful and that maybe it doesn't work that much. Okay so we done. Clean. I a big mess. <laughs> it was clean before now it's... Oh my goodness. Alright. How messy is my oh, that's alright. And I heard these are actually name tags and that, not um, not mean possible mints and that, like I thought it was. Uh, I can go down here. Oh, I see it's going pretty good now. What two? We're in two minutes in that, and it's only been going past a good goodbye. All right, let's just go get rid of this bucket. Alright. And there's a, oh, there's another bucket. Alright. Did I, did I clean this one? Oh, yes, I did. Alright. There's another minute. There's some, some lantern. That's where it was. It's already cleaned up the room. Alright. Guess I'll go get. No, this one's not being used. Alright. So I think upstairs and um, Santa's workshop has been done in that. Now it's time to continue on to the second room. Wait, that's, is there the hole right here? Yep, that's where we are going. Now. Doing a pretty good job. I don't see any blood anywhere. Yeah, there's no misses or anything like that. Alright, so let's just go put that out here. Did we clean? Oh shit, this okay. Okay, then we'll just go clean this room then. Alright, yeah, that's what I missed. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people. I remember like first cleaning this area. That's all. I don't know, like cold in there. I do. Rem I do remember like. Clean this whole room up. Okay, okay, I'm finished now. Then when I was about to like sign off, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit, I forgot this room." <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so stupid. Put up the shotgun shells. Yeah, I always, you know, I've seen like lots of let's plays in that, like some live shit, like I did like uh, speed for a nap. Because I'm trying to like, um, you know that um, Steam has like um, like um, achievements in that, but I figure I figured out actually that um. I actually got all all of the um, all of the, um, the achievements there for one, which is what I'm trying to do right now is, and that is to like clean up the room without breaking any um, Christmas ornament or anything like that. But if you've seen part two, you obviously know that I failed in that one, and I actually like broke one of the baubles or um, yeah, one of the baubles in that. So I guess I must have failed it. I also heard you can also, like, I found out while watching a Let's Play in it, and you can actually, like, you can actually go, you can actually, like, do this to, like, a one. Like, you can actually, like, hit it, like, multiple times in that, and I think over time, I think, I think you'll see it. I think over time you keep doing it, I think it will, like, disappear or something. Uh, no, we don't have, well, I probably just know what that in, but I remember, like, I don't know how many strokes it is, but, well, oh, not strokes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this video is going to be demonetized. Nah, I don't even monetize my, my shit. So when, so basically, um, what happens is that we hit the mop to me and that, like, disintegrates or something. Yeah, which I find kind of, like, amusing in that. 
but it also like takes like a, like a long time in it, so I'd be like, I'd be like doing it. Let's just clean it up in it. Mopping up blood. In it, yeah. I've heard this is actually an actual job in that, but I don't know. I think it's probably need like no, probably need like, like years of experience to like I don't know clean blood in that, and also. Ah, shit. There's also it could be like a lot simpler than this, like especially like the whole bucket system in there. Like if you guys like have like this type of job in that, you probably have to like just get like this I don't know, put the put like um put the um, bloody water in a tank and just refill it in there, but now we oh I I was gonna like put the I'm gonna put that Oh shit, I'm gonna just gonna put the hand in the um in the bucket, which you can do in that, but I think I'll just try to do it all bloody. Look at this mess I've got in the Oh my goodness. I can't get no bucket. Ah, shit. No, oh, that's not a good Oh, that's a waste thing. I wonder if they just made it just to piss you off. And, oh, look at this. Look at this bloody mess. Oh my goodness. I thought I cleaned this room. I guess not. Is this one bloody? Yeah, that is. Okay. Oh, I had to. I already had to like that. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, great. Okay, let's make it. I got. I got worse now. It. It got fucking worse. Oh, ah, oh, really? Oh, yes. Uh, I was gonna show you guys that before, but you have to carefully put that in. There. I remember trying to put it. I remember trying to like put it in the bucket and that actually, and it actually like it still exploded. Yeah, that's why I like, that's why I should like, put like a bucket next to it in there. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I right, this bit. Well, it's alright. Alright. Yeah. When you like, the, not the, the composer, I want to say when you, uh, when you, um, when you get rid of the flame, something, something like that. Oh, that, oh, I forgot what it was. Alright, so this room is clean, let's just go put it in there. Oh. Oh great, I thought I'd clean this room. <laughs> Alright. Okay, it's gonna go in here. Just I think just two lemons and that's about and that's it. Alright. Sure. Alright. I won't bother those name tags. Alright, let's go up. Let's go to the second room now. After ah oh, good lord. Enough room in the bucket thing. Alright. It's surprising they have like, like, I'm kind of like weirded out by these like human like limbs and I'm so used to like seeing like the elves in there. I thought that photos I'm gaming that, like, when it does that, it's gonna like, I thought it was gonna like, I don't know, spit out um, like elf parts in that instead of, but instead of like human parts in that because it just feels, I don't know, it just feels kind of odd in fact. Let's just, you have to clean up this as well. Shit, I forgot about that elf. Oh my god, I forgot about I forgot about Danny Elfman. <laughs> oh my god, uh, he's got to toss you in the fire. Burn alive. I tell you, burn alive. You're dead. Yeah. Makes me wonder. I wish someone like made like a mod for this game, where you can actually like um. I think, I think someone already did that with like one like with like assets in it. Where, like someone like made like a first person shooter with the assets of this game in it. <laughs> Which is kind of like a prequel to um, like some of the levels in it, like the prequel to the gaming, like before like the cleaning, like what the aftermath of it is. And a tur yeah, I want to play that one actually. I think it's um, I think it's like a standalone mod or something like that, or a project. I remember hearing. I remember hearing something like that. Alright, let's go toss the fire and oh, good grief! No, it's not as bad as the first room. So let's just get rid of these stone parts and have blood on the rest. Is this being used? Nope. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Alright. Is there another clean bucket around here? That'd be just wasting buckets. Nope. Alright. Is there. I don't really. I need to go get rid of the TNT. Oh, there is a bucket. Alright. 
to keep them like wasting buckets in there and I was just realized there's like another one like hanging around from another room I forgot the jack uh, uh, I don't know what time is it 10 minutes now and it's nearly gone to 4 gigabytes oh, that's right yeah maybe because this game is more powerful like more powerful than it especially like it's like much a newer game and not like the I don't know the dooms quakes and bloods yeah, I'm surprised it like depends on like the type of quality of your videos at. Like this one's like 1080p, but maybe because it's like quite like so high quality in it. But, I don't know. I was originally thinking about like streaming the game in there actually, but then I thought about like it's around Christmas time in that, and it's a kind of like a reference like older like shooters in that, like Doom and like I think it's, like one of the if it, one of the achievements I got in there, which you have to like put like 10, 10 like stools in there on top of each other, and it was called um, Tower of Battle. Or battle in there, and that's like the, I mean, it's the seventh even boss from the first Doom in that, so there's like a bunch of like references in there. And I heard like the developers also did like Doom mods in that, so it was kind of like it was kind of like a mad evil in it. Like, I think, um, I think his name was Leon in there, he was actually a New Zealander in there, and he did like the Return of the Triad mod to do. Yeah, and he then he got signed on to um do um Ben Evil with another guy that I don't remember his name was. Yeah, so uh, it's really cool that these modders actually get to like make their own games in that. Even though like small development cycles in there, and I think, and I think the guy who did like that, I forgot what his name is. Um, Charlie Woods, was what? How, how? I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong, but he was the one who did like um the DLC packs for um Duke Nukem, like um New Killer Winter and um, um or what was it? Duke Nukem DC was another one in there, and he actually carried on to do like Duke Nukem Forever until he left. I think he left like before. Like right on the end when um, Gearbox got the rights in that. Yeah, that's how I got the that's how he like got involved in that. Alright. I think that'll be enough for me. But this is gonna be this is gonna probably be the last one for the year the year in that. So I'm gonna be content because it's nearly like over with Christmas in there. And I could do part four after Christmas, but anyway. So anyway anyway my trades, man, please subscribe, like, comment. Tomorrow's gonna be my um my Christmas um special in that. So watch out for that anyway, and I'll see you guys next year.